every place biblically represented a door. That's why when 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 Abraham wanted to ascend to another dimension, he had to meet with Melchizedek. But as Melchizedek becomes a door to, to Abraham's life, when, when Elisha's life was about to be tied, Elisha was a farmer. That's what he knew. But the Bible says when God wanted him to enter another door, he had to encounter Elijah. Becomes a door. When 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 Jacob was about to elevate him to another dimension, God made Jacob to meet with a man who was a Christophanic and a, a pre-incarnate manifestation of God in the form of an angel. Then his life changed. Then Laban, meeting with Laban, there was a meaning in the life of, of Jacob. When Joseph was about to be raised, God met him to encounter men, his brothers, the Ishmaelites, Potiphar, the prisoners, they fell. These are doors to life. So God could invest so much in men. Why? Because he knew that men are doors. Whoever could make an alliance with Isaac, because the Bible says Isaac in Joel, it was a marketplace. He, he, he planted and harvested a hundredfold, which means my encounter with Isaac, it was not just an encounter for friendship, but it was an encounter for greatness. That's why even the Philistines fought Isaac, why? Right? Because of how, how great Isaac was. That's why when God wanted to change the life of Moses, he said, Moses, yes, I'm a God of power, but go to Jacob, a man and a dog. Jethro has got an oil in the dust of priesthood. It's going to help you. And the Bible says after he left, some years after, Jethro followed again because there were some legal issues that Moses could not deal with. He was busy dealing with all issues at once. And Jethro said, Moses, you are going to weary yourself and die a young boy. I want you to select 70 people, release your spirit over them. These are those. I don't know. If I'm doing something in this place, yes. Jesus Christ knew that he thought he wanted to touch the whole world, but he was not going to do it alone. He raised doors, 12 doors. And the Bible says, after Jesus Christ left, Andrew went where he went, Matthew went where he went, Luke went, and they affected the whole world. Why? Well, because there were doors representing salvation and the kingdom of God. Yes. He thought they were persecuted, but Christ knew that with the time that he had, he needed doors. So meeting with Peter is a door. He raised Paul. Paul was a door to revelation. Paul was a door to revival. No apostle brought revival like Paul. The Bible says, Paul is saying, among all the apostles that God raised, I was the least, but I became the chief of them. So if you wanted revival, you were supposed to meet with Paul. If you wanted mentorship, meet with the Barnabas. So all these guys were doors. When Timothy met up with Paul, his life changed. He became an apostle from being a boy. If you look at the life of Timothy, Timothy was not born from a spiritual family. Timothy's father was a Christian, was a Greek. His mother was a Jew. But the father, his father, did not want them to do anything with the church. His father never wanted them to read the Bible. He wanted them to and to study the methodology of Greeks and to understand the concept and the culture of Greek. But he met up with Paul and Paul adopted Timothy. Then he then uh, learned the things of the spirit to Timothy. Then Timothy became a giant in the kingdom of God. That's why when the Bible is coming, he says, Timothy, when I remember the faith that rests in you, it is the same faith that wasted 